Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. You're joining us here from the beautiful city of Liverpool because we're off on our travels again. We are heading up to the Lake District because we've got the Lakeland 55k trail race at the weekend. But we've also got Berlin Marathon to train for coming up very, very soon. Yes, so many races, the UTMB and then Berlin Marathon shortly after that. We've also got the new Nike Alpha Fly version two in to test out today as well. So we thought we'd start getting ready for Berlin, putting in some speed sessions, getting these legs ready for that speed that we're gonna need to have a good race in Berlin. So sit back, relax, we've got a fun speed session today. And of course, I'm joined by my very favorite Sarah Place here, who doesn't wanna be in the shot, getting it done on the bike as well. So sit back, relax guys, let's get this video done. So I've just got the new Alpha Flight 2 in. Really excited to test this out. They have not run a single step in this, so today will be that first run. Yeah, absolutely crazy price, 280 pounds. Shoes are just getting out of control. Uh, but yeah, really liking these new additions um, to the bottom. That looks way more stable underneath those AirPods there. Uh, we'll have a full chat just at the end of the run, all about my first thoughts. And uh, yeah, everything that's changed between this and the Outgo model, which I have got in the bag behind me. But for now, just gonna put this on, get the warm up done, and then we'll have a chat about the session. Anyone that's been to Liverpool will know everybody flocking here, all these tourists here, come to see the statue of one of the most influential bands of our generation, Atomic Kitten, just so that they know. Uh, the home of the Beatles, of course. Paul McCartney uh, just gone 80 years old. Probably the most famous thing to ever come out of Liverpool. Maybe the people of Liverpool Football Club or Everton Football Club might disagree, Stevie G and all of that lot. But anyway, we're not here to shout out football and music because I know very little about those sort of topics, but I do know a little bit about running, testing shoes in the Berlin Marathon. So let's get this show on the road. Right guys, you might be able to tell it is very, very windy today. So uh, yeah, we'll have to factor that in to the session, but I hope the sound quality is all right. But yeah, we're just gonna do about three, four K warm up in these. Yeah, she's feeling nice so far. Much more comfortable anyway. About three to four K warm up. Then we're gonna do six by a K at around about that five to 10 K pace. We'll have a chat about that in a minute. I haven't done a speed session for, this is about February time to be perfectly honest with everything that's going on. So just spent the last period of time just doing lots of jogging, building that base fitness back up, all the cross training, and now ready to go introduce some speed. Right, we'll see you for the start of the first rep. Well guys, I'm just sitting down, sheltering behind this bush. We're out at a place called Otterspool Promenade. I'm not gonna claim to know where that is, but uh, the marathon basically, well, the marathon doesn't exist anymore, sadly. The Liverpool Marathon, it stopped. But uh, I think runs up and down here. I think I remember running up and down here. So I thought it'd be a good place to come to do some reps. And yeah, we're just out basically next to the River Mersey, which flows inland here. And then you've got the Birk, I'm gonna say Birkenhead Peninsula. That's not what it's called, but Birkenhead's just over the water there. And then again, you're off across the RSC to Ireland, Northern Ireland, Southern Ireland, all that sort of stuff. Anyway, let's get this rep, let's get these reps done. In terms of pacing, it's gonna be really hard today because it's blowing an absolute hooli out here. And it's more sort of gusting around rather than in one particular direction. So we're gonna do about five to 10K pace. So the reps, I'm aiming for about 315 to 320, roughly on that, and we'll just see what happens. Um, yeah, I'm not reading too much into it. We're not gonna be very fit at all, but that's why we're doing this. Training is in tough conditions. We don't know what it's gonna be like on race day. We're just here no. to get it done. Yo, yo, right, guys, yo. let's get this done. Hey. 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 Right, guys, here we go. Training for the Berlin Marathon. Cannot wait. Let me know if you're gonna be out there. Let's get this done. First rep there guys, 316. Yeah, obviously 
a little bit slower than I'm used to and win behind. I'm not going to look forward heading back in this direction. All right, two minutes recovery, if I didn't say there. And yeah, let me know, are you going to be at Berlin? Or what marathon will you be at this autumn? Cannot wait to catch up with some of you guys out there. We'll hopefully do a bit of a training run, training run, shake out run in the Tiergarten out there. Yeah, cannot wait to get back to Berlin. Finish it off. I've got some gremlins on that course we need to sort out. So can't wait. Right, I'm going to get this uh, another sort of minute recovery. Then we're heading back into the wind. We're much, much slower. Oh, this is right, guys, round number two. That was stupid. The amount of winter. 3.35. 3.35. How crazy is that? Oh dear. But at the end of the day, guys, as I say, we can't know what the conditions were like on race day. So you've got to train in tough conditions, and yeah, that's tough. Get it done. And at the end of the day, still getting good effort. Just because I've got good splits to put on Strava and get loads of kudos. Yeah, so fast, so fast. Doesn't matter. Getting good effort. So train in all conditions, guys, and get it done. Bye, right, guys. Rep number three. Right guys, end of that rep 314. A little bit more like what you'd expect. Let's try and hide the microphone. And yeah, enjoying these shoes, I must say. Feel a lot wider through that midfoot where the old ones were really quite narrow. Just way more comfortable. I always chose to run in vapor flies because they were just really comfortable shoes. You didn't really think about them. The first alpha flies, they were fast, but boy, were they uncomfortable. And these, these feel really quite nice. Who knows how fast they are in these conditions. But yeah, you're gonna enjoy putting many more reps in these. All right, 75 seconds, cool down, and then another tough one, probably about 340-ish, back into the wind. Hope you guys are well, you're getting your sessions done as well. Come on. Right guys, here we go. Rep number four. That is the hardest, slowest rep I think I've ever done. That is crazy. But I think when I said in the last video, what's harder, reps for this, or going up those crazy hills, it's just whatever you're doing at the time. That felt hard, this feels hard. But at the end of the day, when you get to 37K in a marathon and everything's hurting, it's these type of things that will get you through. I think I ground that out and I can get it done and get that last 5k done in a marathon. These aren't just all about training the heart and lungs, it's about training the head as well. Right, I'm going to try and get 2k's out of this direction, 2 1k's with the wind on our side. Are they behind? You just overheat. So it doesn't really help just because I want to do a comparison with the Alpha Fly ones. Right, let's get these last two done. All right guys, rep number five, dig deep. Let's get this done. Uh, coming back into the wind is harder. Like, harder effort. Yeah. If I had my chest strap on, I think the heart would be higher. Which is crazy. Yeah. 314 pace versus 340. But now, I'm kind of chatting at 312 pace. Right guys, 313 for that rep. Just rolling really nicely. Oh, sweat in my eyes. Working hard for you guys. Working hard for me. Enjoy it. Enjoy sharing my training and hearing about all of your 
training, ups and downs, highs and lows as well. Right, I'm gonna quickly put the Alpha Fly number ones on for the final rep. Why are you changing into them? Test them, see how they feel. So I'm testing them, I need to know what is better for me as well. Because they do feel nice, just way more comfortable. Which ones? Those ones. But I can always, you just put these on and they just, they dig in in here. Well don't wear them then! Or literally what's the point? No, they're not dig in to be like causing danger. They're just not as comfortable. Right guys, here we go, rope number six and the Alpha Fly ones. Let's go! Right guys, there we go. Final rep done. Six by K in the Alpha Fly ones. That final rep was 3.12. Fastest rep of the day by one second. Right, let's start the cool down. We're gonna head in Sefton Park, go out this wind, go out this hill, go and have a look around in there, gather my thoughts about the shoe, <coughs> gather my thoughts about goals for Berlin and all that sort of stuff. Hope you enjoyed that. It's been great, really enjoyed, even though in these tough conditions here, really enjoyed running fast again. Felt good. There's life in these old legs yet. Right guys, midway through the warm down now. We're just at the Palm House. If you, Sarah pans round the Palm House, really beautiful building here in Sefton Park in Liverpool. But anyway, you want to know about the shoe. I've just made a few notes here. Um, yeah, this does feel a little bit heavier. We'll put up the weight. We need to actually weigh them. We'll put the weights up on the screen. The um, heel to toe drop is a little bit more in this new one as well. I think this is up at eight mil. The outgoing model, it is at four. They've put this little bit of uh, foam, extra foam underneath the AirPods um, just, to help with it, just to help with the ride, just make it a little bit more stable. Um, and yeah, that's the, the plastic along the plastic, the rubber along the bottom. It's just a little bit thinner as well, but it definitely does feel far more stable um, as you move through the sort of transition through the foot there. Do you think they're a bit less noisy? They're still pretty noisy shoe. I was thinking that because a lot of people say this isn't as noisy. Yeah. And trouble is it was so windy I couldn't really tell, but they're at the end of the day, this is a noisy shoe. This is a noisy shoe. They haven't managed to sort that out. The last sort of change I can feel is just it is slightly wider through the midfoot section of the shoe through here um, yeah as far as I can tell the carbon plate is exactly the same in these two shoes but it just there's just a little bit more space through there um, on the outgoing model it really sort of gripped in here and sort of dug into that part of my foot and I have quite narrow feet so if you had a, if you're a wide-footed runner that would have been really quite sore and painful but on this they seem to have done away with that the tweak tweak the design in here but yeah you know I've just done like a few K reps and they feel identical in terms of pace wise but yeah we need to do a lot more testing and really these these shoes are designed for the mar half marathon and marathon and longer they're not designed for doing k reps and things like that and so we're going to do some longer testing in that some yeah some proper marathon distance long runs and we'll see but for me this is, seems to be a bit of a win at the moment uh definitely far more comfortable absolutely eye-watering price uh, yeah, try not to think about that too much, but 280 pounds is absolutely crazy. Right guys, me and Sarah are going to carry on with the warm down and uh, yeah, back on our travels up to the lakes. Hope you enjoyed the video. I've got a rest day coming up tomorrow because yeah, I've done about 130k in the last six days. Building up all this mileage, getting ready for a UTMB and Berlin Marathon four weeks after. What a crazy double that is, but yeah, just love it. Loving running at the moment. Hope you guys are going well with all of your training. Thank you to the Patreon supporters, the legends on YouTube, supporting what we do. Check out the website. We've got loads of new gear on there, some new hoodies, which you saw at the start of the video, new hats and all sorts of stuff. Check it out. Thank you so much, guys. So from me, Sarah, it's goodbye from the beautiful city of Liverpool. And you'll see us up in the lakes on the next video. So that's it, take care, lots of love. Keep getting it done and we'll see you in the next one.